Hello, my beautiful Geminis. Welcome to your horoscope forecast for the next three months. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live person reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, so what are we going to cover today? We're going to cover July, August, and September. And we're going to see who's coming towards you. Well, more or less, who's influencing your romantic love life or what's influencing your romantic love life. Who's coming towards you and some advice. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, what's going on my Gemini's romantic love life? July, August, September. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so that's the first month there. Second month, third month. What's the influence here? Somebody who is single and available to pursue or self-focus going on, Nine of Pentacles energy or an isolation or separation. We got the Ten of Cups here and we have the Five of Pentacles. Okay, the bottom of the deck is there's some kind of sly, slick energy and some kind of strong temptation here. That's gonna happen pretty quickly. Uh, let's see what that's about. Mm -hmm. All right, so the first month here, we see there's a lot of working effort, something about work, money, effort. Okay, so maybe some of you guys could be focused on money and work, or somebody really wants to put some kind of work or effort into the connection. So, what's going by Gemini's Romantic Love Life, July, August, September. Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so someone's putting work into being single and available to pursue. Hmm, interesting. Okay, let's keep going. What's going to happen with my Gemini's Romantic Love Life, July, August, September? Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, someone's giving you some type of good advice. Okay, there's some massive changes coming in here with the five card energy. Okay, let's keep going. What's going to have my Gemini's romantic love life? July, August, September. Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need. Two, C. Okay, so let's take a look here. So there seems to be some self-doubt or worry. We see trying to make the wisest decision. To be single and available to pursue, so there can be effort or work put into this connection or connection here. Okay, let's keep going. Someone is trying to make some, gain some control over a situation, make some strong power moves. So there can be a positive term of events with spending time together. So it looks like there is somebody who you're uh, spending time with or going out with. Um, there could be something about this situation that involves money and finance. Hmm, okay, let's keep going. What's gonna have my Gemini's romantic love life? July, August, September. Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. Okay. All right, some indecisions here. Wanting to take a risk, a leap of faith. Okay, so what it looks like so far is like somebody's getting their finances in order. Uh, to take a risk, a leap of faith on a connection, but it's like someone doesn't feel like they're financially there. Like they wanna make sure that every all their ducks in a row so they can make some strong power moves to hold on to somebody for a pentacles energy, okay? So it's like, I wanna hold on to you, but I know I need to be in a financial way, a financial position to do that. So we see friendship, okay, so this could be because there's a lot of attraction here, all right? This person could have a lot of options. This could be like the Queen of Wands energy, okay? Um, and also it could be a friend, a sister, a daughter, uh, an infringing party karmic around this situation. We see something about this letter, message, document, paperwork, and trying to stay hopeful about this situation. Because um, it's like 
I know it's meant to be, I want to meet with this person, I want to spend time with this person. It's like there's something about a connection. There's an indecision here about how to take the risk of leap of faith, but there is this sense that this connection is a destined connection. So I just want to go see what's up with this influence here as well, okay. So I get the sense that, yeah, there's concerns about this sadness here. So I get the sense that, um, just looking at this so far for the month of July, it's like, yeah, like they're really sexy, they're really attractive, they got options, I need to make sure I'm financially stable, I need to make sure I'm financially together because I know we're destined to be together and I just wanna make a strong pull towards them to hold on to them and I, this person doesn't feel like, you know, the only way this is gonna work is if they are, are financially in a stable position to take that risk, but it's like there's a, there's a meeting here, there is somebody you're connecting with, someone you're meeting up with. Okay, so going further here. So I see in the month of uh, July, August, this is August, there's some indecisions that end. So your indecisions end um, when it comes to the sense of loss of this infringing party. So you're really sure that this other person, this infringing party is not around and something has changed here. So this communication now is very hopeful, star card energy. And it looks like there is a healing energy around this situation. And you're aware that this person's like, I miss you, I long for your embrace again, I wanna be with you, that kind of energy. And there is this uh, frustration here. This can be misunderstanding, frustration. So change and frustration, arguments, fights. We see this infringing party and this concerns, missing someone. Okay. There's gonna be some good news here coming in here in the month of August. And could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy or it could be saying, cause pentacles are like ones, page of pentacles are like ones. And pentacles have to do with money, family, children, long-term. So there's good news is something long-term is definitely someone seeing you as a main person. And I see that there is this unexpected turn of events and a healing around this situation. And we see a proposal, some kind of wish fulfillment, a proposal here. So some kind of good news about some type of proposal. So it's like someone's like, I want to fight for this connection because I miss you, I want to be with you, I long for you right? This is a longing energy here. And so as a result, it's like, I want to heal this. I want to fix this. I, and so a proposal is being uh, proposed here, like some kind of wish fulfillment or even an actual proposal here. All right, let's go further on this. Well, actually, let's go first with the Kipper. All right, influence is something about a uh, court situation maybe a, a just choice, just decision, marriage, divorce, and someone, a sense of sadness, and we see single and available to pursue. Let's go further. And we see this reconciliation, this apology, this healing energy, something going in your favor. The person who's coming towards you actually is bringing you a sense of long-term emotional fulfillment. So the person who's coming towards you makes you feel like, oh my God, this is my, my long-term happiness here. This is my long-term happiness here. Um, there could be something about a uh, fresh start, new opportunity, child here, or starting a family or blending families together. And we see that there's something about uh, feeling stuck or stagnant or like, my, I don't wanna go around in circles here, stuck, feeling stuck. Two plus nine is 10, 11, needing to make a choice there is a, someone that's around you, there's a strong temptation, obsessions here. Okay. Hmm. So five of pentacles is the advice saying someone needs to be left out in the cold. Or uh, five of pentacles could talk about loose or loss. Loose. Loss. <laughs> five of pentacles loss. Let's just go further and see what that's about. Okay. Loss of regrets. Uh, the timing is right, victory for you guys. More than just friends. Oh, okay. 
let's keep going. Okay, so July, uh, July, August, September. Now let's see what September. All right, so you're healing a situation with someone. There's a patient energy for things to come into balance. There's a knowledge here of some kind of dispute and wanting to get some type of clarity about this situation. And there's this understanding that there's this spiritual awakening, a spiritual connection. Okay, let's keep going. All right, so you're juggling a decision to a pentacles energy about deep love. And definitely someone's coming out as you're my main person. And there's a shock and surprise about this. Major changes because of this truth that's being revealed. So it's almost like there's a spiritual understanding of the connection and uh, a very deep, profound truth about it. Okay, so indecisions, needing to make a choice, changes because of a spiritual awakening, all right? So someone's realizing there's something different about this connection. I wanna make a chance, uh, take a chance, and I wanna fight for this and speak my truth. Let's meet up, let's spend time together. There's something about this connection that feels destined. It feels like it's meant to be, and there's a proposal, wish fulfillment around this. So I see that there's a lot of soul searching going on here, hermit card energy. And this concerns about infringing party, a family member, friend, a karmic. And we see this two to three month expectations. And we see people around this situation, socializing, hanging out. Okay, going further. And someone wants to, to come clean about this. So this seems like, even though there's this proposal, there's something that wasn't being spoken about that will be revealed here. See, truth about these things that have been held back or that, who's been, you know, been lying about. Someone's been lying about something here. Okay, we see that there is a, around the, the influence of this situation is somebody from before, ex-partner. And I see that the person coming towards you is a, a healing person or a healing situation or something about healing around this situation. And it looks like your advice is to communicate. To communicate with them to be just more than just friends when the timing is right, um, and to take away your regrets. So something about this situation you've had a lot of regrets about. And um, the advice is saying that you have to move forward with this, okay? So it, makes, it looks like you have to make a choice to take a risk of leap of faith. There is a faded connection, right, a meeting, this meant to be encounter and changes and this person's like, I want to fight for this. This is a wish fulfillment. We see our spiritual awakening and a truth that will be revealed about things that have been hidden about other people or, or the people around this situation. Yeah, what I hear outside, if you look at the omens, right, the truck outside is carrying a lot of weight. And that for me represents burdens of responsibilities. So it's something about this truth that's going to be revealed has to do with these burdens of responsibilities. Stress and worry about this infringing party and a lot of uncertainty. Where do I stand with you, Gemini? We see this money and finance situation. I'm missing you. You're shocked and surprised about these spiritual signs and healing the situation when it comes to these people. So it's like the, they're gonna be, there's gonna be information that's revealed about the people around this situation. Yeah, we see indecisions, right? Needing to give it some time because of delays and challenges. Deep love here, right? And we see an abrupt decision, single and available to pursue. Now I can make the wise decision when it comes to this opportunity offer towards a long-term commitment. And we see this good advice and we see a loss of arguments or fights. So it seems like whoever this person, there is this masculine energy around this, older masculine, it feels like they're giving some kind of good advice, but it's actually causing some misunderstandings around the connection. And I see that there is this, you know, spending time together to heal a situation and it's like, you're my main person. We see this letter, message, document, paperwork, and this unexpected, um, you receive something unexpected here or, or get some kind of unexpected turn of events. Um, and I see that there was some kind of two to three month expectation here. I just want to go down another layer on this just, to, just because I want to see what this is all about here at this final card here. Let's just go down the layer real quick here. All right, so we see a mother energy, older sister, and we see a friend, and we see a commitment obligation, a message you've been waiting for, and massive changes in the sense of despair. We see, yep, there's the masculine energy that seems to be infringing around this situation, and we see 
there's a concerns about this loss and someone feels like their hands are tied, like they're trapped in a situation. So the truth is going to be around or something to do with this, this older masculine energy that seems to be infringing upon the connection. And uh, this is what that's gonna be a discussion at the end of the month, or excuse me, in the month of September there. Yeah, because this is what's really caused the uncertainty around the situation. All right, so we see that someone is helping. We see this concern about an ending in knowledge, but a positive turn of events and hopefulness about love. We see sister, daughter, friend, karmic. I want to be with you, and I'm concerned about this sense of self-doubt. There also could be a sister, daughter, friend, mother energy around this as well. So there's this work and effort to these indecisions and healing a situation and making power moves to communicate that there is some juggling or a heavy decision that has to be made. I want to hold on to you and there's good news and a lot of soul searching going on about this situation. So it's like this realization, I want to hold on to this because I know that this connection is a lot deeper. It's just not, you know, it's just, it's, it's a connection that's destined to be. And I don't feel like there was an awareness of it before, but there's gonna be more of an awareness in the next couple months, okay? We see this ex-partner, healing, communication, letter message document. We see this apology, obsessions about this friendship. We see this court situation, feeling trapped until the timing is right. Sadness, we see something about this child, fresh start, new opportunity, and concerns about regrets. Single and available to pursue long-term happiness and concerns about losing this person. Okay, Five of Pentacles energy. So let's get you guys some advice. Can I have some advice when it comes to my Geminis, when it comes to a romantic love life, for the highest, best good, for the best possible offer for them? For the next three months, July, August, September. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Something is about to majorly change for you guys. That's going to cause you to be indecisive. So you need to be honest, okay? So just be straightforward, just be honest. Patience. You can have success here. Don't forget to be happy and joyful. We see there's going to be an ending of a situation, and you need to surrender to this and just um, get a sense of structure, order. So there seems to be something going on where someone's leaving another connection, there's a legal situation around that, and uh, it looks like they're coming forward. And just be patient here, and if you're indecisive, just be honest with that person, um, just to get some clarity about where you stand, okay? Since acceptance of the situation, when it comes to these delays, and it does show life purpose here, there is a, a connection on life purpose that will be brought into balance because of deep love and compassion. So it is showing that there may be some delays and challenges moving forward with this situation, but um, be patient and be clear about, be honest about the situation. And if it's your situation that you're coming off of a situation and there's gonna be some delays and challenges because of the complexities around your situation, then just be honest with that person to give them clarity. Because Five of Pentacles shows not to leave someone out in the cold or to uh, talk about some kind of uh, loss, Five of Pentacles energy, or to, um, to lose the regrets. So speak about the regrets talk about the regrets, give this person clarity about where you stand, where you're at, and or if it's their situation, give them clarity and give them understanding or get some clarity from them. Be completely honest about the situation and talk about where you wanna go with this connection, okay? So my beautiful darlings, and as you guys know, you guys have free will. We're only supposed to be here as guidance. So at the end of the day, follow your heart, listen to your intuition. You guys know what's best for you. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You know, if you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation, maybe you want to claim this message. I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you guys soon.